Artificial intelligence or AI has been a hot topic around the world for a while now, especially with how it has been widely integrated in our lives today. Along with the raised awareness for AI is also the wider debate and questions that surround the technology, including if it would eventually replace humans in the workplace. Hi, I'm Sophia Senioran and I will be your host for this episode of Straight From The Expert, where we will discuss AI and how it is changing our world today. We are here at the Google offices in the Philippines and we got in touch with Sir Eves Gonzalez, who is the Head of Government Affairs and Public Policy. Hi Eves. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Thank, you for, thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us, actually. You have a lot of knowledge to impart on us today. So, I'm very, very excited. Um, earlier, I mentioned how AI or artificial intelligence is a subject of discussion today. But before we dive into the complexity, can you first define what AI is? You know, to, to put it simply, mm -hmm. uh, we think that AI is basically when you know, humans try to teach computers how to think or how to act or how to you know solve problems just like humans can right and even better ones so basically you know you also hear about machine learning diba? so when we talk about machine learning it's basically the human or the computer can learn actually from data from information and it becomes better does ai have no use in the everyday life of an ordinary citizen so the good thing with ai now it's been democratized right mm -hmm. so i guess no unang panahon ai was primarily for computer scientists mm -hmm. right? but now with all the, these ai tools mm -hmm. even you know uh, a sari sari store vendor we had a training with a sari sari store owner on how to improve the design of their sari sari store right? or even let's say a uh, tricycle driver mm -hmm. na gusto niyang aralin kung paano ba maging uh, paano ba mag-create ng magandang resume diba so things like that so ai now has the opportunity to improve the lives of everyday filipinos ai has now especially there's a lot of free tools na so dati mahal pa yan but ngayon so many free tools are available it's kind of refreshing to know that um, even just ordinary Filipinos, like you said, a sari sari store owner and a tricycle driver, mm -hmm. they are able to use these free tools these days. Is AI nearing human intelligence? Eve said that although AI has an advantage in certain skills, like processing mm -hmm. and understanding millions of images and data, AI still lacks the ability to understand and comprehend human emotions and relationships fully. The collaboration between human and AI, that will, that will always be the case, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about one being better than the other, but actually working together, collaborating, yeah. so that we can solve some of society's tough problems. Yeah. Since AI is relatively new to most people, and some of them think it is hard to use and it requires technical knowledge, is this true or false? Definitely false. Definitely. So we always say that, you know, we in Google, our goal is to democratize technology, mm. including AI. So with Gemini, so Gemini is our both our AI model and our large language model. Mm -hmm. We're able to democratize AI. So marunong ka namang mag-Google search, ngayon pwede mo ipasok yun sa Gemini, and basically Gemini will give you an AI-generated answer, di ba? And then there's a lot of AI that's actually happening behind the scenes. So, mm -hmm. marunong ka mag-YouTube videos, marunong ka manood ng YouTube videos, di ba? Powering that behind the scenes, yung mga recommendation nun, may AI doon, di ba? When you use Google Maps or Waze, mm -hmm. yun, may AI behind the scenes that's telling you the route to take. So actually, AI is now at the stage that anyone can use it. I don't think a lot of people realize that so much of AI is already integrated in our daily lives without us noticing. So for example, when you do a Google search, tapos nag auto correct, di ba? Mali yung mm -hmm. na type mo na word pero tama pa rin yung results. Uh -huh. That's AI behind the scenes oh, that's powering that. Okay, so even something as simple as that is already yes. AI. Wow, so it's definitely very easy to use because I use it in my everyday life. There are also discussions about AI being biased and unfair. Is that true? So definitely depending on, on how the AI is trained. Mm -hmm. So one of the challenges of AI is to make sure that the training niya, um, reduces, removes the biases and unfairness. Because mm -hmm. for example, if your training data is biased, 
then syempre, kung hindi mo kontrolin yun, lalabas at lalabas din yung bias doon. So it's really incumbent upon the AI developer, oh. uh, like Google, to make sure na we are conscious of these known and unknown biases. So it's incumbent upon us to really try to counteract those uh, and of course, you have to be responsible in the outputs of that. Not just in the training of the AI, but also yung mga output na generate ng AI. For example, you put a lot of training data of doctors, di ba? Mm -hmm. And then, so for example, kung yung training data niya is, let's say, poor pictures ng male doctors, mm -hmm. and then you ask the AI to generate a doctor image, ang pag hindi mo, you know, pag hindi mo kinorek yung bias, ang lalabas doon puro apat na male doctors, di ba? Uh -huh. So you all, as a company, you have to be conscious of the possible potential biases of the training data uh -huh. such that yung output, i-consider mo na tama ba na puro male doctors lang ilalabas, uh -huh. di ba? This is a problem that has existed and we have to solve for it, uh -huh. di ba? So for example, when you use Gemini to generate an image, dun sa image na yon, meron siyang para siyang fingerprint. Tawag namin doon Synth ID. Na yung fingerprint na yon, basically tells Google, uh, Google search, and then even the users that this image was AI generated. Mm -hmm. So kami, we will do our part to inform people kung merong image generated dun sa image na yon, or kung ginamita ng AI yon, mm -hmm. On YouTube naman, for example, we incur, uh, we, we require our YouTube creators na kung meron silang ginamit na AI sa isang content, tapos mm -hmm. realistic yung content, and then it has a possibility of deceiving someone. Mm -hmm. We require, we put a label mm -hmm. na nakalagay doon, um, synthetic or manipulated, or basically AI generated. Mm -hmm. So again, being able to tell people mm -hmm. whether AI was used, especially when there are risks involved, mm -hmm. it's part of our responsibility, it's mm -hmm. part of our AI principles. Mm -hmm. So again, um, a lot of these problems are long standing, mm -hmm. but now AI adds a new dimension to it. Since we are at a time where AI is rampant and widely used even in our daily lives, it is also important for us, the consumers, to carefully examine whether the content we interact with is AI generated or not. What are the limitations and disadvantages of AI? That's good. It's a good question. So Especially now, AI in a sense, especially mga generative AI, it's, mm -hmm. it's, if you think about it, we're at the infancy. Simula pa lang to, di ba? Mm -hmm. um, although, ang galing na ng mga tools na nakita natin, we have to be conscious that, again, number one, yung sa bias, di ba? Mm -hmm. We have to be conscious that sometimes, uh, some AI tools might have some biases, mm -hmm. you know, might reflect some of the biases of society, and we have yeah. to be conscious of that, di ba? Number two, we have to be conscious that AI can make mistakes. Not because it's AI, it doesn't make any mistakes, mm -hmm. diba? So again, it is relatively new technology, infant technology, so it can still make mistakes. So we cannot, in a sense, we shouldn't 100% rely on the output that AI gives to us, diba? So for Google, for example, in Gemini, pag meron siyang binigay sa yung sagot, we have a Google it button there. So in a sense, what does the Google it button do? It allows you to, in a sense, Google the sources that mm -hmm. the AI used for mm -hmm. the answer, mm -hmm. such that ikaw mismo, Pwede mong ma-validate ma kung tama ba yung output, di ba? That's actually really helpful, no? Kasi even when you were studying back in the day, you'd always have to reference Correct. the authors or whatever source you got it from. So AI does the same thing. Correct. So, yes. That's wonderful. So, if you're just, let's say it's a personal curiosity lang yeah. naman, then, you know, you can basically ask Gemini a question, it'll give you the answer. Mm -hmm. But if you're presenting it to your boss, yeah. to your professor, to, you know, to, to people that you need to have 100% correct data. Mm -hmm. So while AI will help you, you know, with the initial work, at mm -hmm. the end of the day, your ultimate responsibility for the accuracy of your report, mm -hmm. which was assisted by AI, still falls on you, di ba? Yeah. So again, if a fact check mo pa rin, yeah. check mo yung sources, di ba? Para sure ka na pag uh, nag-present ka, tama yung pinapresent mo. Uh, so now I've actually saved the most burning question in everyone's mind. So one point often brought up when AI is involved is the fear that it would eventually replace humans in the workplace or replace us from our jobs. So, Eves, is that true that AI will replace humans in the workforce? But the answer to this hot topic and more about AI will be discussed in the next part of this episode. See you there! We also sat down with Sir J. Mark Tordesilla. You know, generating summaries of more complex documents or uh, even transcription of interviews.